Hello there YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with another Inkbound Daily. Today is the solo daily for January 20th, and today we will be playing Obelisk, going from Proving Grounds to Garden's Edge, and then up against Runestone. We start with uh, three tiny Heartstones, which is notable because that gives us access to, I believe, Vigorous and Warden at level 2 straight away, which on Obelisk is definitely appreciated. We have Ink Wash. Enemies uh, lose all stacks of Burn Frost by Poison and Bleed at the end of the turn. Not notable with uh, Obelisk. And then after winning a battle, randomly increase a random equipped set by one from Set Collector, which is pretty good, honestly. Uh, could give us access to Vigorous 4 or Warden 4 pretty early. Otherwise, we're just Obelisk playing the game. Plus one to ever frost set. Oh, I. Cone of Frost is guaranteed to show up. Is it guaranteed? Yeah, will show up in the binding draft. So we skip and pass that. I don't really care for it. Not that I think that Cone of Frost is bad, but obviously with um, Obelisk, we have access to better sources of AoE. And uh, we have Ink Wash in play. So we're probably never going to actually like use it what have we got in here um misting bells for bastion wouldn't be too bad decayed binding also isn't too bad i think we're gonna re-roll here i want something with a little bit more oomph guess powder monkey stockpile will do give us a little bit more damage for this fight um None of this is actually going to help us take fight one. We reduce Seismic Slam cooldown, though. That's definitely usable. That allows us to use Seismic Slam every turn. In the early game, when everything has, like, piddly poor help. Hmm. It's probably not going to be enough to, uh, to clear fight one on turn one, though. Anyways, to the Tarnish Vault. So, we're doing a daily run today. Um, I know a while, while back, like probably three weeks ago at this point, maybe it was two, like before January, somewhere around there, uh, we were talking about how we would like to do some more Sit Down Saturday content. But the issue with that, unfortunately, is that... One, we're not going to hit this. Two, actually, I think we could. I think we can. If we don't get stingy with that, there's got to be a line where we hit all three of these guys. There is. Then you guys are close to being crushed. Or please. It's just not enough? Are you serious? With a crit? That is unfortunate. Sad. Alright. Well, um, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, the sit down Saturday content. It's very let's say difficult when it takes so long to get confirmation from the developers that something's actually working when I want to put out a video that now we're getting close to 1.0 release and potentially everything that I would want to cover is going to change. So do I honestly put in all the work just to release content that's going to be invalidated in probably three weeks or something like that just to have content for three weeks i don't particularly think that that's a good idea i'd like to have something that has a little bit more lasting power personally um what is with these choices we're gonna re-roll here um jinx comes to save the day again Ever Frost 2. What is going on? Alright. Got access to power.
Powder Monkeys. Ink Needles is here. They really want us to do a Frostbite build. We're probably going to get Avalanche, aren't we? Take Elusive Whisper. Grab another Powder Monkey. That's how I'm feeling. Let's go ahead to the Sea Breach. But yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking for the damage calculator update. I would love to do it. Again, just recently figured out how everything works. But um, now it's potentially going to change. I don't know that for sure, but like you'd have to think that with 1.0 they're going to change some things. So I would like that to be accurate. Okay, well we were also going to do discussion on all the bindings. Well, all the bindings are up to potential change with the 1.0 update. So it'd be nice to wait. Um, and I think that's kind of the, the stick I'm running into. Ooh, noise. Is... Due to how, I don't want to say fast, because they're not necessarily, like, this update isn't fast. But the difference between the last two updates was literally, like, two months. Which is kind of notable, because it's kind of hard for me, with my schedule, to make videos in two months. For just a sort of... I guess, unveil the curtain, however you would want to say it, on content creation for me. Like, I realize that part of it is probably my expertise and experience, but it takes me significantly longer than those videos are for me to make stuff like um, explanation videos. It's easier for me to make these kinds of videos because I just talk while I'm playing the game and I just go ahead, rewatch through it, make sure that everything's okay, and then I go ahead and I ship it. But in explanation videos, I have to actually like pick apart like almost everything. <laughs> And make sure that, uh, you know, there's no five seconds between uh, two points. That kind of stuff. And so it's actually... Let me put it this way. I did an Inkbound introduction video, like, way before it hit early access. It was, like, ten minutes long. That video, with all the different footage that I had to cut, with all the uh, different takes on audio... That video took all day, like a full work day, eight hours to make a 10 minute video. Now again, probably part of that is the fact that I haven't been doing it a lot, so I don't know like, okay, here's how to best set myself up for success. Here is how to wonder what the heck we're going to do with these augments. And uh, here's the best way to, or most efficient way to edit the content. Um, yeah, I, I'm like a part-time content creator and not even an editor, right? I'm a, uh, a project coordinator for a factory that makes multi-layered circuit boards. I don't have any of these skills, but, um, oh my God. Honestly, just give me blink. We'll get out of this. Like, I should have given in and just taken Cone of Frost, but... I also don't feel like it. Alright. Um, go ahead and grind this up. We might be able to get some ambusher stuff going on. Flask of Serendipity is appreciated. Lots of us to use our two good skills more often.
So I guess what I'm trying to say is, sorry that I haven't been fulfilling my promises of making more Sit Down Saturday content, but it's kind of difficult right now to figure out like what exactly content needs to look like. Use just a little bit more damage. We're just barely missing these guys. Just costing us a lot of damage. Pick that up, just hit you with that. We're done. Name a more dynamic duo. Obelisk and Jinx. Tell you what, another softened wisp, it kind of hits the spot. I'm not sure if that's good, though. We do have access to a grinder up here. So it's probably that we're supposed to grind one of these things. Another tiny hearthstone, that's kind of cute. Um, gets us Vigorous Warden, though. We can grind them afterwards. Okay, game. So, I'm actually going to take Steel Brella and double grind that. Because that's how I feel. Pick up the Tiny Hearthstone. Now we have Vigorous 4. We have Warden 4. And then after this, we pretty much just grind up all this stuff. Because we don't need any of it. Let's just take a look here. Is there anything, like, really notable? Cloak of the Conspirator is kind of freaking notable, to be honest. Um, I think I'm willing to get rid of a Powder Monkey stockpile for it. Or is that just Softened Wispet? I kind of want to keep Ancient Wisdom here, just so that we can maybe up-tier it to an additional will. We don't really need another Powder Monkey stockpile. I think we could do without that. Pick up the Cloak of the Conspirator, get access to crits... It's been a very interesting crit line this whole time. Um, and I'll spend all this money. We'll do that. We can get negative one cost on our purple. Shield Bash is going to be absolutely roided. What are you seriously doing all the way over there? A little rude. Way for me to get all three of you? Yes. I want it. I'm not picking that up this turn, I guess. So let's just put ourselves central. Charge. Pick this up. Absolutely demolish everything. Hit you. Bamp out. How are you not dead? Okay, I'm admittedly a little concerned on our damage. Which is to be understood because we literally have no damage. Bonus damage, that is. This, this is still not better.
Oh, we took damage. This is turn four, which means that we gotta phase you in one turn. I don't think that's happening. That was just poor uh, turn planning, to be honest. Because I could have dashed twice there. Two extra turns. I don't know if doing that turn correctly would have made a difference. It's possible that we messed up another turn like cumulatively in the first five turns then we could have only had plus one turn either way losing two turns versus a boss is severely going to hurt our score we also didn't get the turn one fight one so damn we're looking at something around like negative 100 negative 700 points yeesh We're going to go ahead with Impulse. We really don't have access to Crush in order to scale Slam. <clears throat> uh, critical Seismic Slam is kind of huge. I'm debating if that's better than Iron Clap, just crushing by default. Is Iron Clap crushing by default? does quite a bit of damage but if we take no damage then obviously critical seismic slam is going to cause seismic slam to deal moderately more damage like an additional hundred damage but for that I could just iron clap twice and crush twice also what did we get was it another Everfrost? No. It was another Warden. We'll keep you for now. Now we need to actually get some sets. We've kind of solidified the damage taken issue. We just need to actually get some stuff that adds some damage to us. More Inventor would definitely do that. So we've got very good crunchy hits with Shield Bash. You're shocked, my sir. Problem being, we don't do any actual damage. Shock doesn't get uh, rid of itself at the end of the turn, though. So we can do something a little bit more like this. Yeah, we're kind of in a way.
lose a ton of points here. And I'm obviously not happy about it. I'm trying to think of where we were offered some damage. I suppose we were offered kind of a Thorns build at some point that we could have gone down. Grim Vortex, that wouldn't really solve our damage issue, but it might be the best thing that we could do. Um, more damage per dread. I think it might be the witch is what we need to get out of this. Um, reducing the cooldown of Seismic Slam does nothing for us unless we also reduce the cost by one, which we currently don't have on us. Uh, plus 10 damage per stack of Dread doesn't seem good when it's already up to 100 now. Like, if that also got doubled, like, sure, but these are pretty garbage, to be honest. Um, guess we're going to take that cooldown on Seismic Slam. Gain 3 stacks after using Jinx. We can use that. Also, if we can get another 3 stacks at the start of combat... Then we'll be cooking with gas. All right. I would like a heroic bulk because we got a grinder down here that we can use. Unstable brew will help. Might be mandatory. Triples our damage. Right? Right. Okay. Is that worth it in keeping these two guys up?
Yeah, we can do that. Alright. We managed to get out of that one. Hmm. Oh, hold up. You gotta be kidding me, man. By that much. Okay. Well, there ain't much that we can do about it. We probably could have ordered that turn better, knowing that we could have killed one of them with Jinx. Uh, re-roll this? I'm not feeling any of this. Harmingers might just be early enough for us to grind it. I really don't need to gain shield. Because we go with counter assistance. Or parsimonious. We currently have zero omni damage. So then we can get an inventor. Inflict shock on uh, an enemy every turn. Okay. Um... All these have DR, and we don't want to grind for DR right now. Like, I guess we could take Swindlers. It's a cheap way for us to get some spikes in the build. It's only on your first turn, though. And our current damage resist is... 30. So then this would be 35. We'd get 70 stacks of spiked... Yeah, I'm really not appreciating that. Unstave would get us close to DR capped, but we don't need DR, we need damage. We're gonna have to take Box of Truffles. And I think we're going to have to grind this bad boy. It did give us uh, Ancient Wisdom, though. So we got that going for us, question? We literally have nothing that we're able to grind at a Vestigal Shrine, so we might as well just go to the garden here, make some more money. Archaic innards. Hmm. That's actually quite huge for us. That's a free shield bash every single turn. I can get behind that. And then of course it gets us close to Inventor 5, which would be great. Okay. We just might have hope. Um, eat this fish. I can buy something if it's cheap. We don't deal damage to ourselves. Runestone doesn't really deal a lot of damage to us. Bone Calcifier is actually kind of bad in this situation. Yeah. None of these are enough to put us in jeopardy. 
We just have to hope that we can actually do this. We gained some will. We've got free damage in the kit now. I don't feel like we're doing well at all. In fact, this is basically all we're doing with that is just crushing a whole ton. Now we have the crits, though. Let's see how this works. Yeah, we still just have, like, no damage. Pick that up. Use our freebie. Yeah, the damage does not exist. And that is an issue. At this point, I think Kona Frost probably would have been pretty helpful. Due to the fact that uh, we now are using Impulse like an insane amount of times a turn. However, I'm not sure that it would solve this issue. Like, we we haven't been using Blink. Like, it could have been Cone of Frost. So that's a... I'm going to say an error on our part. I'm going to go ahead and hit you with that. Because we're only going to lose um, a couple stacks. Yeah, honestly, at this point... Impulse is only slightly less efficient, and it gives us shielding. That was turn three, right? So this is turn four. We are totally screwed. It's not often I run into an obelisk build that has literally zero damage. The embarrassing thing is, too, is that it's not like there's anything going on with the, uh, with the mods to make the enemies tankier. We just don't have any damage. Yeah, this build is not doing well at all. I think that's evident right now. I don't have to keep saying it, but I'm just as astonished, really. We might as well hit you with this. Um, this is critting, so I guess we hit you with that. Now this is critting, we got you. Okay, that's plus three, right? Holy lord. Our score is going to be ass. Blast is honestly, like, it's another 75 base damage a turn. It's something. More damage per stack of Jinx. Again, when we take um, Bewitch, that feels, like, significantly worse. Uh, we could definitely take Critical Shield Bash, which allows us to... Um, deal more damage with shield bash so that every turn when it comes up and it's a crit it hopefully does a good modicum of damage 
Uh, we already have like 125 crit damage though, so it's going to deal 25% more damage than it is now, technically. Feels pretty bad. Well, all right, let's um, struggle our way through these elites and then see if we can't buy ourselves a build with like 150 gold. Just kidding, we probably don't even have 150 gold. Box of Troubles will give us something. All right. You're the one who shocked. That's the worst. Really prefer that you weren't? Pretty sure everything that we're going to do here is just going to use that shock up. Yeah, we don't have a good opportunity here. Now you have two stacks of shock. Now we're talking. Okay. So we're still going to keep you there with two stacks of shock. What are we going to do to all your friends, though? That's the big question right now. I can't believe I wasn't hitting you this whole time. I'm in shambles. You didn't get the third shock. That's unfortunate. We have so many enemies that share life right now that we shouldn't hit you. That's crazy. What about now? Still not the best idea. I think we've done fucked up. Trying to use as little movement as possible. And now we're stuck here with you. Yeah, you're going to be here another turn. There's no way we're getting rid of you. All right, we'll finish you this turn, I guess. Possibly. That is kind of huge, but it might just be too late. the fact that we didn't ascend it obviously makes this feel a little bit worse. It might just be discounting Blink. Dunn's head is very good. We want that. Uh, controlled explosives will give us Inventor 5. We could also maybe use Shaheen's Shimmering. Shaheen's Shimmering might help. Don't do enough damage to where controlled explosives is good. That's my only, like, hesitance against it. What do we got over here? 
taking in mind that we can only spend 300. If we reroll, we could grab a blue here. Really doesn't do it for me. Um, I guess we grab unstave for some DR that does nothing for us. No, we're going to reroll. It's Frostfire Ember. Something else that does nothing for us. Um, okay, game. Understood. We're going to reroll this instead. Are we going to reroll this? We kind of need Inventor right now. Oh, man. Also gives us a reaper stack. Yeah. I don't like it. The struggle's definitely real right now. I don't know what to do with you. We're spreading the shock does literally nothing for us, so we might as well just uh, use our skills. I just don't know how. We actually manage to do anything meaningful here. We were kind of gambling on orbs on blast, but we didn't get any. Guess I can eat this. Might still get this boss on time, though. If we can get our act together. Just barely gonna miss you, huh? It's kind of a problem. All right then. I forget what turn it is. I might need to do this now.
Was that an extra turn? It was. Okay. Yeah, missing that phase over on the bottom left side was uh, kind of a big deal. Uh, our score is horrendous. 45-550. As opposed to 47-750. So we lost 2,200 points. And most of them... I think all of them were actually just due to lost turns. I don't think we ever took damage. Like, that's the one good thing about our build. We literally took no damage. But unfortunately, in dailies, that's not enough. We just didn't find damage, like, at all. Like, we had some decent damage at the end there. We were hitting Runestone for, like, quite an amount. But he also has, like, less health than other bosses because of the fact that he has, like, a weird DR mechanic. Anyways... Hopefully the run was still educational, or at least uh, enjoyable. And if you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, or play alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.